Hi everybody, I'm bathtub vlogging today. Um, I have been, I was sitting here thinking about Sesame Street, which is really weird. And I remember how they would say this episode of Sesame Street is brought to you by the letter O and the number seven or whatever. Well, today I'm bringing you a homage to Sesame Street uh, brought to you by the letter P and the number one. The letter, the number one, is because there's one day, one day, people, before I go on my little mini vacation up to the hot spring. I'm really, really excited. Um, my husband and I are going uh, with a couple friends of ours, and um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I need a long soak and a long sleep to kind of gird myself for the work of fall, which is always a lot of work when you're on a little farm. Um, the letter P, we're going to start with uh, Pentecostal hair. Um, I, I don't know what's up with me these days, but I'm obsessed, obsessed with Pentecostal hair. I've been watching Pentecostal hair tutorials, Pentecostal vlogs, Pentecostal outfits of the day. I mean, I, I, I just don't, I don't know. It's an obsession somehow. And I've been thinking about why that might be. And I think there's a connection between Pentecostal women and their hair and general creativity. And here's why. Um, Pentecostal women, just by and large, and maybe all of them, um, they don't cut their hair. Um, sometimes they don't even trim their hair. Um, they wear it down, but they also wear it up in these elaborate, which I've, I'm going to turn my head so you kind of see it, these elaborate, curled, sort of... Um, high on the head um, hairdos. Now, I can't do that high on the hair hairdo because I don't have enough hair. But these women, I mean, they've got uh, waterfalls of hair. It goes down to, you know, uh, at least their waist, usually their hips, off and down. They can sit on it. It goes down to their knees. It's amazing. Um, and I have always wanted really, really long hair. And I just, I don't have the kind of hair that works real well on really, really long. You know, it breaks off. It only grows to about my waist. Um, I'm having trouble with the lighting here. Not that it matters. <laughs> Maybe dim lighting is better. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to go back here. Can you see me? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you can or not. Um, so, yeah. And, and so they don't wear any makeup. They rarely cut or trim their hair. Um, they aren't allowed to wear jewelry. Uh, generally, they wear clothes that um, cover their arms at least to the elbow, sometimes to the wrist. Um, their, their skirts have to be at least to the knee, but I think for most Pentecostal churches, they require that they're longer than that. Um, so, honestly, there's really only one place that a Pentecostal woman gets to be creative, with herself and her body and that is um, her choice of clothing colors <laughs> and her hair and so they've developed these elaborate hairdos that are just unbelievable um, and uh, they enjoy doing each other's hair it's you know kind of like gorillas grooming the same deal they get together in a in a pod and they you know they sing Pentecostal music and just have a great time. And um, and it, I think it's that really exuberant creativity, even though they've only got one um, outlet personally. Well, one physical outlet. I mean, they've got other outlets, singing and cooking and raising their kids or whatever else they do, um, keeping their husbands in line and all that. But all, their only adornment is their hair. So I... I I don't know. I just sort of identified with that. Um, so that's my latest experiment is Pentecostal hair, and I'm really not doing a very good job of it, but, you know, I'm going to continue. Uh, my next um, P word for the day is Power Director 12. Here it is. Power Director 12. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old, uh, but this really seems like an obscure kind of an obscure program to me. The I'm trying to find uh, user groups online um, or, you know, more in-depth online tutorials, YouTube tutorials and stuff, and I'm not finding a whole lot that's, um, that's very good, um, that takes you through, in fact, maybe I should do this myself if I can ever figure it out, but that takes you through the how-to of building 
of, let's say, a YouTube video, putting in a title, making things go faster and slower, all of that, and actually, um, as a tutorial, not just simply some, you know, geeky guy spilling out all these words that half of them might have forgotten what they mean. Um, so anyhow, um, I'm hoping I'm going to love PowerDirector 12. It seems like a fairly robust program for, a, you know, for not being, um, you know, After Effects or, or Premiere or one of those. Um, so we'll see what happens. Oh, by the way, I'm sweating like a pig because um, I'm in California and it's fall and it's probably going to be 95 degrees out there today. Oh, man, it just, it just... This summer just keeps getting hotter and longer and drier. Um, so I'll keep you up on the Power Director 12 thing and see if I can figure that out. My last P word for the morning is perfume. This, whoa, I just dropped it. This is uh, the Givenchy perfume that um, that was created specifically for Audrey Hepburn. And, it, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I think it's L'Entredi, maybe. And my mom got it for me years ago. That was so sweet of her. Um, and I always perfume my bath water. Um, I... I don't do aromatherapy exactly, but I do perfume my bath water, generally with uh, my mom's cast-off perfumes. This wasn't a cast-off. She bought this for me specifically. But, um, yeah, she'll get tired of something, and I'll end up with an armload of, you know, Macy's perfume. So that's real exciting. Um, and I just love the smell. It's relaxing. And depending on how I'm feeling that day or what I want to do that day or what I want to project, I'll choose the appropriate scent. <laughs> So, yeah, there we go. So you had the number one, and you've had three examples of the letter P. And um, now I'm going to I'm going to scrub my face and finish my bath and and get on out and take on the world today. So everybody have a really really great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.